right, here is our RV that we're completely remodeling. It's a little bit of an old guy. My wife likes to call it the beast. I personally call it the Millennium Falcon. So whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, mechanically, I went through it. It's working great. Everything's in great condition. Dually, it'll tow so much weight. Love it. It's exactly what I was looking for because I wanted to remodel an RV and do it my own way. So buying a newer one didn't really cut it because I'm not into the traditional RV systems. Uh, my little workshop, get this RV built properly. Let's go do a little walkthrough. <laughs> solar panels mounted to the top now this here I have them just latched down for the moment because I had to drive it recently but these are going to be uh, set up with a uh, rack system that can um, fold them up to an angle these ones here actually draw out to the other side and fold down to an angle so these ones here are going to be for when we're boondocked for long periods of time these ones here will be the easy ones to get up and down for quick camping trips whatever um, this rack system I built myself, um, not really recommended to be honest with you. It was a, a lot of grueling work. I look back and almost just wish I would have had it professionally done for 1500 bucks or something. But, you know, I did it for $150 and hours upon hours upon hours. So, anyway, these are our panels. 400 watts of solar panels, 100 watts a piece, four panels. Go down the ladder here. All the uh, equipment out here, like this used to be the ventilation for the uh, three-way refrigerator, uh, took that out. We're not doing any propane on the inside. Um, we're doing an all-electrical system. I know people say it can't be done. I say, don't believe me, just watch. So subscribe, follow my videos. I'll show you how my math will work out, and it will work. The only propane appliance on this guy will be here. It's our hot water heater, instant hot water heater. Some simple tuning here for heat. One gallon of propane per an hour at full blast. We're not going to need it there. So, and that thing's going to get hooked up. Um, so yeah, the only propane appliance is on the outside, and that's going to hook up to our 20 gallon propane tank, which is under the vehicle right over there. Uh, and uh, over on this side, propane appliances were over here. This is where the generator used to be. Uh, generator wasn't working needed an overhaul I actually uh, gave it to a friend he got it working again and he uh, it's a really nice generator but told me he could have it he helped me out with some work so uh, that was a nice little trade not doing that gonna rebuild that to be some some storage outdoor storage propane appliances are gone these systems are sealed up this whole thing will be repainted at one point but for right now it's all sealed from the inside and no leakage because well, I had to put a lot of work into that. To be honest, I want to do videos a lot earlier than this because I had to do a full demo. It just was some grueling work, and now we're getting to the fun part. And so, and in here is a partially done bathroom. I have a floor that needs to be done. This is a fiberglass. We're keeping a lot of the old insulation. It looks pretty nice, but we're going to be um, reinforcing it with new insulation, putting radiant barriers up, and. There's some of what we're going to do on the walls. It'll be a little different, but I'm going to get this thing hyper-insulated. Since our heating and cooling is all going to be electric, we need to keep our load as low as possible. And so we're going to go way over killing insulation in this guy. As you can see, it's a pretty small unit. It's not for luxury living or anything like that. This is for, you know, quick camping trips, boondocking for a couple weeks at a time. Hey, bug out vehicle if you guys are into that. And so, let's start from the back here. There's a closet we're building in. This thing's going to be all sealed up. It's the next job, and that's because our battery bank is going to fit right in here. I've got to cut this out here, and then my electrical distribution center is going to be under here, and I've got tracks to lead it over to the other side over here. We'll go through that as we go. Refrigerator and some kitchen appliances, microwave. Let's see if we want to get a little convection stove or just a nice convection microwave. Countertop, storage underneath. Over here, this is actually going to be taken down, but this is going to be a countertop as well, a little lower than that one. And storage underneath. Those are the, where all the old propane appliances went. Not going back in. We're sealing them all up. Didn't feel like redoing the whole outside. Just keeping it as is and make sure it's all sealed. No, no water's leaking in or anything. As you can see, the propane appliances uh, 
didn't really help with that. So the whole subfloor here is going to be replaced before I build the cabinetry. And we're going to be sealing all the walls up, getting the windows sealed up. Over here, I've already built on in my 55 gallon water tank. And this is going to be the uh, seating, side seating when we're driving. I have my seat belts installed and everything right now. This is going to be finished up. It's going to fold straight over, I guess. Let me see. It's going to fold straight over kind of like this to become a bed. And then this lower countertop over here will be another, another bed that we roll them out, out on. Um, pretty simple design. We weren't looking for anything too fancy. Just a comfortable seating, comfortable bed, and something that held this gigantic water tank. The reason for that is, well, this thing is made for long-term boondocking. That's the whole point of this guy. And so, big water tank. Water pump right here. I'm going to hook that up to the water distribution center, which will be under here. This will all be very insulated. The reason for that is, well, it's water. So we're going to make sure to keep this thing nice and sealed up from the outside environment. We have this very huge laundry sink. Uh, my wife and I do uh, have done all the design on this ourselves. I've designed most of the mechanical and framing, and she uh, comes in and helps me with um, some things that she needs. And, you know, this big sink, a lot of my friends are saying, wow, well, why would you want this gigantic sink in your little RV? Uh, you know really comes down to our needs. Everybody has their own needs. Uh, we like to have a big sink to work with. We've got a dog we can wash in here. Um, it, and honestly, we're going to put a little rack in the bottom. Sorry, it's full of stuff right now. Water distribution, pumps, electrical stuff. But we're going to put a little rack in the bottom and use it as storage and put a board over it to use that as a cutting board and a surface as well. And this area is going to be all used for dishes and drying and whatnot. So, small unit, we're going to make it work. Should be uh, really well done when we're all said and done with it. Solar panel hookups here. And um, as I said, this thing is going to be super insulated, pretty well sealed from the environment. We're using uh, a combination of vinyl walls and Luon. And, uh, the reason for that is a Luon it gives us a rigidness, which is what we're going to kind of need to hold these walls up here. And the vinyl is waterproof on the outside. It's going to, if there is any leaks, we're going to really, really uh, help with uh, insulation and leakage damage. Uh, one problem that I, that I have is uh, I work so hard on mechanical systems that I often forget about cosmetic issues. And so putting ceilings and walls up uh, is going to be pretty difficult because I should have put it all up before the framing. That was dumb on my part, but hey, what can we do? We're going to figure this out as we go, and we're going to make it work. So, yeah, this is the RV build. I'll keep posting videos. Uh, mostly, you guys aren't going to be learning too much framing and whatnot from me. I do I do all right and did all this myself. And uh, But uh, mostly what you're going to be learning from these videos is um, how to set yourself up sustainably uh, with appliances, with uh, 12 volt systems, propane systems, um, your HVAC systems, uh, air conditioning, and uh, you know, doing, uh, doing your math and all the proper voltages and all the proper electrical and how many amp hours it'll be running. And, and uh, yeah, so hopefully, As we go through these videos, people can learn especially a lot about electrical engineering and battery engineering and how it'll, how it'll work and how a full electrical system, actually, except for the water heating, of course. It's the only thing that mathematically I couldn't figure out with a 12-volt system, but uh, how uh, just about everything else is possible without a generator. I'll say it again, without a generator. And uh, don't believe me? Just watch. Thank you very much, and I'll uh, see you on the next video.